you know, this isn't the first time, so it's not as if my heart is beating fast or I have any kind of adrenaline rush or I'm nervous. It's like, okay, I'm getting out of the car. You're going to search it. You're going to ask for ID. You're going to give me a couple minutes of this. They're actually there for like seven or eight minutes. And then we'll all get on with our lives. There were a bunch of 15 kids behind the cop car. They were loitering in the middle of the parking lot. Nothing happens there. So, of course, they take me back. Are your papers in order? You were over the yellow line. I was over the yellow line. I try to appeal to their decency, like, why are you doing this? What are they going to say? I've learned not to say that kind of stuff anymore. I've learned this is what it is. This is 2019. Okay? So people now, when they think they're somehow terrorizing me and they're somehow uh, intimidating me, they're not. These guys actually got pretty wise. They figured out um, how to stay out of the camera. They come at me from the side and I've actually had one time where they pulled the chip and they put it back in and that corrupts the file. So, you know, they're figuring things out. Of course, things go missing from my car. I mean, so it's ridiculous. But look where I am. I'm not hiding out anywhere. Right? I'm not hiding out. That's the main entrance. I'm telling them what's going on. And there's a lot of backstory here. What are you going to do? I actually had one time, I was in a crowded parking lot, I had just picked up a sandwich, I started eating it, and some of the food dropped on my lap, so I put some water on my lap, and I was wearing khakis, and when they came at me, they accused me, or asked me if I was masturbating. What do you say? That was the first time, though, and that did shake me up. And the first time, it was a packed parking lot because it was a little fair not too far away. And they told me there was a lot of drug use. Okay. A lot of cars there. I had to find my car. Even at that point, they were finding me. And like I said, I did, I was shaken up. I really was. It's funny, when they first came at me, I turned around as if I was getting arrested. They go, no, 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 it's okay. So it was really strange. And they didn't, they didn't check the trunk again. And I really didn't know what to make of it. You know, you start getting a feeling of things. Anything I'm showing, it's not the first time. But there's an awareness, and then there's a denial. It can't be. And it happens again. I don't know the mechanics of it. I don't know how you call people and communicate. I do know this. You run afoul of law enforcement or really the, the local district attorney's office. You are effed.